Number 43, pure iron metal can be produced by the reduction of iron three oxide with hydrogen gas. And then we have letter D. What will happen to the concentration of each reactant and product at equilibrium if H2 is added? Okay, so Morla Chatelier's principle. We're already on letter D now. So basically, what are we doing? Well, we're shocking the system. We were at equilibrium, and now all of a sudden, we're, we're dumping in a whole lot of H2. So I'm just going to make a little note here. I'm going to my um, balanced equation, and I'm going to find out where the H2 is. It's right here. So I'm just going to make a little note that I've increased the H2. Okay, now we basically have to undo what is being done. We got to come back to equilibrium. So the consensus of Le Chatelier's principle, if you add way too much, right? If you overshoot your amount, you have way too much of it. So that means you need to bring it back down. And if you need to bring this back down, right? Do you want to produce more? No, you don't want to go to the reactants. You want to go away from the reactants, right? By going away, you will decrease this side and increase the product side. So that's what Le Chatelier's principle is all about. If you increase the amount, you have way too much, so you will always shift to the opposite side. Meaning, since the change is on the reactant side, you will shift to the product side. And once you make the correct arrow, you will get rid of this because now we're going to correct, you know, and come back to equilibrium. So now if I'm going to the product side, these will drop generally and these will increase, right? Now I'm going to hit my gases, right? Because I know that gases are affected with equilibrium, right? They're in the K expression, so they're going to uh, be affected with concentration. So H2 is definitely going to decrease, and maybe I'll put this in red, and H2O is definitely going to increase. Okay, so that's, that's a true thing. So H2 is going to decrease, and maybe I'll put, put it over here, H2O would increase. Okay, but now what's going on with H, uh, Fe203 and just the Fe? Well, if you notice that these are solids, right? So remember, solids do not have anything to do with equilibrium. They are not in the equilibrium equation. We cancel them out, right? When we're trying to write an equilibrium equation. So when we're talking about concentration, the concentration of Fe203 and the concentration of Fe, would that change? No, it wouldn't. It's not in that formula. So solids do not change their concentration. So we could say no effect. So let me just box these off. These are basically your four answers to the question, right? They just wanted to know what would happen to the concentration of each reactant and product. So you'll decrease your H2, increase your H2O, and then for your two solids, no effect. But some of you might be saying, wait, wait, Christina, right? If we're increasing the products, I mean, this has to go up. And, and since we're decreasing the reactants, this has to go down. Well, yeah, you are correct. But the trick here was that they said concentration. The concentration of these won't change. The only thing that's really happening is that you're decreasing this in mass and increasing this in mass, but the concentration, aka the activity, is not changing. So we don't include it. All right? So hopefully that makes sense. I think we got two more parts, so stick tight. We're going on to letter E in this question. Thank you so much. If this helped you out, please like the video. Just shows me that I'm doing my job here. And I will see you in a little bit. Okay, bye-bye.